Welcome back to Baku. We're on the edge of the Caspian Sea in a bustling, vibrant capital, which once again plays host to the spectacle of Formula 2. This is not your usual racing circuit. It provides one of the most complete tests for the field. Sector 1 sports a set of 90 degree corners around the block, if you like. Sector 2 gets even tighter with the old city walls. Sector 3 just turns 16 to negotiate and then 2.2 kilometers flat to the floor, full throttle in sixth gear all the way to the end. Joining me today is a man who is no stranger to going fast, Davide Balsecchi of GP2 2012 fame. Great to have you here today, Davide. Are you enjoying yourself here in the beautiful city of Baku? Absolutely, Alex. Baku is fantastic and so distract. Have a check. The architecture, the narrow street. Easy to see why it's one of the most exciting circuits on the calendar. But Alex, street circuits can be unforgiving. I wouldn't be surprised if you see a safety car or two out during today's race. Let's take a look at the grid positions for today's race. Christian Lungard lines up on pole position, with Jay and Daruvula alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Joe Schumacher, Yuki Tsunoda and Schwartzman, Armstrong, Galeo, Eilot, Louis Delatraz, Tictum, PK, Nobuharu Matsushita and Nisani, Aitken, Markalov, Samaya and Felipe Dragovic. Sato, Alesi, Mazepin, and Luca Giotto rounds off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down.
nice move. up into P10. this lap of the race, keep this up.
race over, take care of the car on the way in. Carlin have pulled off a sublime performance to secure the top step of the podium today. And I have to wonder, Davide Valsecchi, just what set them apart from the competition here? This race, this win, was about one thing and one thing only. Consistency. Anyone can be quick for just one lap, but there's a difference between that and being quick every lap, over and over and over. If you can do that, if you can gain ground when your opponents make mistakes, but then not make mistakes on your own, you can just push and push. And there you have it, today's winners. Having raised some of the biggest names in F1 to date, Carlin have once again shown their expertise when it comes to recruiting new talent. No doubt today's winners have a bright future ahead of them. They certainly deserve it after today's performance. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? Let's give it to Guleme Samaya. That was a quality drive from start to finish. He can be proud of that one. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care.